Field. And I'm Vanessa Rufus. Tonight we are just learning the boyfriend of a missing Moore County woman has a domestic order against him in Durham. New documents just into the WCNC Charlotte newsroom show a woman claiming to be James Dunmore's spouse filed against him earlier this year. So Dunmore is the boyfriend of 39 year old Alicia Watts, according to her family, who also says the two were last seen together leaving a Charlotte home on July 16th. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Monreal joining us live with the latest. Jane, what have you learned from these documents here? Oh, well, these court documents filed at a Durham courthouse say a woman who used to live with Dunmore in Charlotte was granted a protection order back in May. We are not naming the woman who filed a protection order against James Dunmore on Pamela Lorraine Drive in Charlotte's University City area, the same house where Alicia Watts' phone was pinged for her last known location on June 18th. In the complaint in motion filed April 3rd, the woman who checked the box for spouse under relationship writes a disturbing narrative, describing in part, quote, defendant has previously been physically violent toward me on multiple occasions, including holding me down so I couldn't breathe and driving essentially like he would kill us both, among others. Defendant has made threatening statements that make me fear for my life. Dunmore was served May 13th with the Durham court decision granting the order effective on May 23rd. It says Dunmore shall not commit any further acts of domestic violence or make any threats of domestic violence. In the meantime, Watts' sister, Tammy Utley, sending me a letter this morning thanking everyone for their support, but also addressing Dunmore, saying in part, now it's your turn to help her family, friends, and community process whatever has happened to Alicia Watts so that we can nurture her and honor her in the most righteous and elegant manner because those that know her know that's just how she was. A criminologist with 25 years' experience also weighing in as those close to Watts say they just want to know what happened to her. Once they found him inside the car, all bets are off in terms of having to wait. At that point, you have got someone that attempted to kill himself uh, inside the vehicle of a missing woman that was reported missing a few days ago. So all hands on deck at that point. A spokesperson for CMPD sharing with us today, this remains an active and ongoing missing persons case with no new developments at this time regarding her location. Detectives remain vigilant and are hoping for a positive outcome. In the meantime, anyone with information about the case is asked to call 911 immediately. Colin. Some interesting developments that you uh, tried to get out of that. Those documents there, Jane, some great work today. We appreciate that. And we know there's been a lot of new information released over the last few days. You can keep up to date with all the latest developments that have happened right now on WCNC.com or the WCNC Charlotte mobile app.